Right. I have been looking forward to making this video the entire day because ChatGPT just came out with Canvas, which is their newest thing. You have to be a $20 a month paid member, which I've been since the beginning. But regardless, I'm going to show you how it works, why it's really cool, and show some different things that a lot of people haven't really pointed out yet, how to really get the most of this thing. I've been using it the whole day since the morning and really think it's one of their best features, especially if you're able to use this thing well. So I'm going to hop over and show you. This is their blog post just announcing it where they talk about it's like it opens up a new window and it helps you work together on a big project like writing something like a blog post or an article or doing some computer coding. And it's really useful. So um, I think just if I hop into this, I, I use dark mode because um, I like it better, but whatever, it might look white on your screen. But if you're in chat GPT, um, you click up here and you can see where it said this is the model. So currently I'm in GPT 4.0. You click here, then you go to this 4.0 with canvas. Um, and then what happens is this is their new thing. Okay. So before I even get it to open up this new window, I'm going to, we're going to write a blog post together. And to be honest, I never use AI to write any blog post because I can smell AI writing from a mile away. I really don't like it. I think other people can as well, but I'm going to show you how this makes it quite different and how a human and the machine can kind of work together at something and create something a lot better than just typical AI writing. So let's say I want to do an affiliate article and I want to promote uh, Riverside, um, which let, let's just say we're going to do that. So first, I'm just going to talk to it like a normal thing and say um, what, because I put this into memory, so it knows all my affiliate links. So I'll just say, what are my affiliate links? And it should, from memory, just give me a list. This so far has nothing to do with Canvas. So here's all my links where if you click on these and bought something, I would get a commission. Um, and it's good to put them into chat GPT so it remembers it for you. So you don't have to go digging around all the time. So here's my Riverside one. Okay. Now I'm going to say, now go online and look up Riverside FM. So you know what it is. I want you to help me write an article about it, but first just find out what it is. So this just forces it to go online. So it's searching Riverside and now it's looked at four websites and it's got the basic idea. Now it has my affiliate link. It's got, you know, a basic idea from online, what it is. I'll say, okay. Um, help me plan an article for promoting why Riverside is the best software for this purpose. All right, so now it's sort of gone through this. And normally I haven't even used this yet. Um, okay, now it's actually comparing other other ones. This is interesting. It hasn't even used Canvas yet. I'm just sort of prepping it or priming it. All right. Um, and now what I'm going to do is say plan again, but don't compare it to others. Okay, set the stage, high quality, blah, blah, blah. I say, okay, now open up Canvas. Sometimes it does this automatically, but it doesn't matter. You can always tell it to and write the art article for me. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to show you what this does. Now look at this. See, it opened up a whole new window. And it's writing the entire article. Now you might think, what's the difference? And I'm going to show you why this is a huge difference. Okay. 
All right. Um, so look, I can go right in and edit any part. Like before, Chat GPT would just give an answer and then that's it. I might like part of it. I might not like another part, but I'm stuck with whatever they give. And if I want another thing, I'd have to get them to redo, redo the entire uh, article. So I don't want them to do that. I might like some of it. Now, if you click down here, you'll see something pop up, these different sliders. So we'll adjust the length. This makes it go shorter. So it'll just rewrite the whole thing in a more concise way for me. See, it's just, I'm waiting for it to do that. So it's redoing it. It's the same thing. It's just sort of a, a shorter version. Okay, I could even go shorter still if I want. Um, this one here is a reading level. A lot of, like this, go, if I slide it up, it goes up to graduate school, college, high school. Let's keep current reading level. Let's say I want to go down to a middle school reading level. Click on that. And now it's going to use simpler words, which sometimes, depending on the type of article, works actually better because then everybody can read it clearly. Um, now over here, so I, the idea is I haven't changed the, the basic thing. I'm just giving it some suggestions of what to do. Now I'll say, um, put in, now I'm back on the left side, telling it what to do to the right side here. So I'm not getting a whole other thing done. I'm just working on this project. Um, let's say, use H1, h2 bold and italics so it can never do any formatting like this this is kind of like a google doc to be honest it's a little more basic but it's like you're interacting with the document throughout the article so let's just see how it formats this okay so now you can see it's made a larger uh, that like I could just cut and paste this entire thing into WordPress or something like medium wherever I want to put it I still wouldn't use it like this but I'm just showing that look see they they've made um, like an h1 h2 so different title sizes they're using bolds here italic like local recording is in italics okay now I'm gonna say use a few emojis throughout okay now now they're going to redo this and just put a couple of emojis some people like using them i i usually like using a few not too many um now watch this so here's a funny thing actually they've included on the right side here uh, something to put in emojis. It'll say add emojis, but I hate this feature to be honest. Watch what happens if I add emojis. They're going to add like a million of them. So if I press the button to add them, watch what it's going to do. See, they're, they're putting them like in every sentence. Okay, that's way too many for a blog post. That looks really silly. Um, now I'll just say uh delete that last round of emojis i just wanted to show you that doing that it's better to write it on the left side if you if you just say add a few it might do it but if you um well now it's taken them all off so if you want some emojis i just put them here on the left side don't use their feature um Put in a few emojis throughout. Okay, so we're still working on the Yeah, so they're going back to what I like, which is just a couple here and there. That might even be more than I want. But so now we've got bold, we got it formatted. Um, that's looking pretty good. Um, okay. Now I'm going to say, tell me some keywords that would be useful for this article include a few times naturally throughout
So now they're putting in certain uh, keywords. They haven't told me which keywords it is yet, but I'm just editing that same thing. So now they're doing um, remote recording platform podcaster. So they've done a few more. I might actually pick the keyword and say, go and put this word in like four or five times or a natural sounding time and then it'll keep the same content, but put it in. Then I'm going to say, um, make the word Riverside hyperlinked with my affiliate link at least four times. So watch this. So it already has at the beginning, look at this blue here. These are clickable links. Okay. I might take that one out of the title. Um, it, it's easy to take that out, but um, I might take that one out of the title, but look at this. So these are all clickable links that would go actually right to my um, affiliate. Uh, that these are my affiliate links. So it's hyperlinked right in. It did a little more than I wanted. I might take a few out, but the point is it can just sneak those links right in there. You know, it takes a long time kind of to do that type of stuff. So this editing is really nice. Um, now I might want to look at this. So actually I don't even have to highlight that. So if you just scroll, if you mouse over just the top right of every paragraph and click on the little plus, um, you can just you can just get them to edit just this section. So I might say um, shorter and more ca casual. So now I'm just editing a, a little chunk of it. Now it's not going to touch the rest. See, it's just changed this. So it's shorter. It's a little more casual. Uh, you know, and then I might. Might do the same thing here. You could put anything. I'm just saying shorter and more casual. So now I'm not, um, you know, doing the entire thing. I'm just doing little pieces of it. Now I could just highlight one thing. Like if I don't like this sentence, I could just say, uh, you know, rewrite this sentence make it at least two sentences one thing i don't like about chat gpt and a lot of these llms is they they use so many commas and they have these long sentences that are unnatural so i'll say you know rewrite this in at least a couple sentences it's more clear to break it up okay so now it's done that so now i'm just going through and editing little bits and pieces that I may or may not like, you know, I could go down here and say, um, like, is there an easier way to say the same thing? All right. And now it's just, it's gone on with an easier well, easier way to say the whole, say the same thing. So I've got my emojis, I've got my hyperlinks in here, and you can see it's already looking basically like an article. Now I, I could even say it won't actually put the images in there, but give me three spots for images to put in here. Now it's just going to tell me three little places to put them. Um, Let's see, it says, it's not telling me though. I don't see it. Just write image here in the three spots. It did this actually the first time, but Okay, this is where they, I guess they just did a couple spaces. So image here. Okay, so they might think that's a good spot. And then I'm sure 
There's a couple other spots image here. Okay, make an image for the first spot. So it won't actually put it in at this point, but you can just download this separately and then put it in there. Yeah, I might want this or I could change that, whatever, but I'd put an image there. So you can see it's already looking like an article if I just cut this right out. It's still honestly not good enough for what I would use. A lot of people would use this, but you could take this out after you play with it for a base and then I would put in my own thoughts and my own experiences with using it. And uh, I'd, I'd make it a little more personal, but you're having, you're getting like the nuts and bolts down of the article. Now I might say, um, what else might I say? Uh, is there a table or, or any, info you could put in the article maybe a graph i haven't done this yet but i'm just going to see where it goes let's see what it did here okay so it made this bar chart okay can you, or not a bar chart, it made like a little graph here. Put it in the article. Not sure if it can, but let's see. Oh yeah, so look at this. I've put in, um, you know, Riverside, like sometimes these things do well for search. So I put another image there that they made and then you got a table here. This isn't the best table, but if you think a little more carefully, it could make a table and just plop it right in there. These do well on search because it's a little extra uh, information. So the more you do realistically, the better. You can make little tweaks, but the idea of this whole thing is basically this new Canvas uh, tool, and you can do this with coding too, it's the same idea is you're just making small incremental improvements and editing stuff. Like I can, if I don't want like these words in here, I can backspace myself and just take them right out or highlight, you know, and like put that all in bold or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But the point is, it's basically, it's using the power of like a Google Doc or Microsoft Word, that type of thing. And then over and over again, you've got this, AI that can help you with little bits and pieces of the task. I could even start in my Google Doc, write out an entire article, then put the whole thing into here, say, write it out for me, and then ask it for suggestions. So you can even start with the first, uh, the first draft. So that's really cool. And before this, you really couldn't do this. You'd have to have a bunch of tabs open, be cutting and pasting. It would take forever. Um, so now this is a lot more seamless. So I think this is really neat. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments, what kind of videos you'd like. I'm going to put a whole bunch of links in the description where you can sign up to our email, um, check out our website, our course coming up that's really neat, um, a whole bunch of things. So anyway, happy to share all that with you. Hope you enjoyed that. and We'll see you in the next video.